Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we will be looking at how to create a distributed volume. So we started with uh, looking at the various concepts that are involved uh, around GlusterFS topic in the first video and in the second video we started how to install uh, the different GlusterFS components and in the third video we saw how to create a replicated volume we saw how to mount it on the client machine and how it distributes or how it replicates the data between the different bricks in your storage pool and in this video we will see how to create a distributed volume all right so back in the terminal in gluster one uh, the first storage node if i do gluster volume list so i don't have any volume so now i'm going to create a distributed volume so the command is gluster volume create name of the volume let's call it volume 2 this time so when we were creating the replicated volume we specified replica the number of replicas we want so if you don't specify a replica it's going to be a distributed volume that's it you don't have to specify any extra options so cluster volume create volume 2 and how do you want to distribute your data uh, to which bricks you want to distribute your data so I'm going to call cluster 1 and the colon cluster slash break 2 this time and then in cluster 2 cluster break 2 and as usual force okay so volume created cluster volume list volume 2 cluster volume status volume is not started so obviously we need to start the volume cluster volume start name of the volume which is volume 2 now cluster volume status okay so we've got two volumes uh, in cluster 1 and cluster 2 cluster volume info okay now we can see the difference here type of the volume is distribute and the status is started number of bricks is two and the bricks are here bricks one and brick two okay so we've got our volume created now we need to mount this volume in our client machine okay so i'm i'm in my client machine now cluster client and I'm going to make a directory under slash mnt called volume 2 and I'm going to mount it mount the volume mount minus t gluster fs gluster 1 colon name of the volume volume 2 and where am I going to mount it under mnt volume 2 that's mounted and if I do mount grab for volume you can see I'm mounting volume 2 from the cluster fs node cluster one and the type of the uh, mount is cluster fs file system is cluster fs and it's read write mode okay so now i'm going to write few files and see how it gets distributed between different bricks so touch mnt volume two let's call it file one so i've touched file one okay so i've just touched a single file so now i go to uh, cluster one and if I do ls cluster and the name of the brick we specified is brick two and if I just do an ls there is nothing in uh, cluster one so it must have created it in cluster two ls cluster brick two yes it has created the file in cluster two node and it hasn't created in cluster one so clearly it's not a replicated volume it's a distributed volume so now let's create another file file 2 so file 2 is created and if we go to cluster 1 and do the same command it's still not in cluster 1 and for some reason it has created uh, the second file as well in the same storage node cluster 2 okay so now let's create another file 3 and come here to cluster one and look at here so now file three is now stored in the brick in cluster one and if i go to cluster two it's still file one and file two okay let's create another file file four and in cluster one file three and file four on cluster one and file one and two on cluster so this is how it distributes the data that's returned to the mounted volume across different bricks okay 
again let's tear it down let's unmount it you mount slash mnt volume 2 rm minus rf mnt volume 2 and let's stop and delete this volume gluster volume list gluster volume stop volume 2 yes and let's delete the volume cluster volume delete volume 2 yes cluster volume list so we don't have any volumes obviously we need to delete that volume delete the brick from our storage nodes cluster brick 2 or minus rf cluster brick 2 okay cool uh, distributed volume I think that's it I wanted to show you in this video and uh, hope you like this video please give it a try if in case of any issues let me know I'll be happy to help I will see you all in my next video bye bye